Grace be unto you in peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. I was glad when they said to me, let us go into the house of the Lord. I'm Father Steve Sellers and thank you so much for tuning in today for this brief daily message of hope. I've been thinking a lot this morning about uh, my memory and our memories uh, and all the music that I have learned in my life that has to do with either holding on to memories or forgetting memories or never letting go of memories or wondering where the memories went. Um, and I've spent a good part of my ministry as a, a priest of the church uh, working with memory loss patients. And I realize uh, all too clearly that we do forget. There are many things we forget. But in the midst of that, I want you to hold on to this. God never forgets us. Now, we may forget God, we may forget everything that we've done in life. I had one man once tell, tell me, uh, not too many years ago, that uh, he said, Father, the thing I do best right now is I forget things. And uh, what sounds like a horrible thing to say is actually a blessing because the things he has forgotten uh, were his immediate circumstances, which uh, uh, often as we get older, those immediate circumstances get pretty hard for us. But I was thinking of music. Music always penetrates the deepest fog. Uh, no matter how much we forget, uh, no matter how many people that I've been around who uh, can't remember who they are, they can still sing Amazing Grace. They can still sing Silent Night. They can still sing What a Friend We Have in Jesus. They can still sing Holy, Holy, Holy. They remember the music because there are things within us that abide. Uh, and. The, the main thing is that God abides in us. But some of the music, I remember one of the songs from 1969. There was a, a band called Classics Four that wrote a song called Traces. Uh, haunting words, it said, uh, faded photographs covered now with lines and creases, tickets torn in half, memories in bits and pieces. A haunting song. and pieces uh, because that's how, sort of what happens to our memories. Uh, I was thinking about uh, the great Lloyd Webber's song from the, the movie in 1981, Cats, called Memory, uh, where the, the, ver the verses are, uh, Midnight, not a sound from the pavement. Has the moon lost her memory? She is smiling alone. If you haven't seen Cats, uh, it's really, uh, really a, uh, a fascinating movie. Now, there was one that I remember from the, the early 1970s about uh, memories that, uh, that Barbara Streisand sung. This was a song uh, written by Alan and Marilyn Bergman and uh, Marvin Hamlish called The Way We Were. Uh, the, one of the verses is, memories like, memories like the corners of my mind. Misty watercolor memories of the way we were. You know, our memories fade often about our past. And indeed, uh, the longer we are away from our past, the more our memories seem to be in bits and pieces. But this was a beautiful song. <laughs> I still play today because I like it. It's not uh, explicitly about memories, but even Paul McCartney's song, Yesterday, uh, that talks about a, a memory fading away. 
why she had to go, I don't know. She wouldn't say, I did something wrong, now I long for yesterday. Uh, a beautiful song. So while we're thinking about memories, I want to just let this be the definitive word about it. I was reading um, in Scripture today from Isaiah, the prophet, chapter 49, verses 14 through 18. And as we know, the Word of God uh, is not stuck in space and time. So when uh, Isaiah got this prophecy from the Lord and wrote it down, you know, 800 years, 700 years before Christ, uh, in the distant past, the words don't remain locked away in the book. This is the living word of God that continues to speak to us today with words of hope. And these are the words of hope that I hope on a, what is sort of a, an overcast, dreary day in Houston today that will stay with you too. Uh, but Zion said, the Lord has forsaken me. The Lord has forgotten me. Can a mother forget the baby at her breast? and have no compassion on the child she has borne, though she may forget, I will not forget you. See, I have engraved you on the palms of my hands. Your walls are ever before me, your sons hasten back, and those who laid you waste depart from you. Lift up your eyes and look around. All your sons gather and come to you. As surely as I live, declares the Lord, you will wear them all as ornaments. God doesn't forget you. As a matter of fact, he's right there with you today. And, and I hope you can experience his presence with you uh, and remember that he's always there. I hope you have a blessed day today and God willing, and if I remember, I will see you right here again tomorrow. God bless you.